Hey guys, it's Keezy here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Premium Edition Paris Hilton Doll 2022. All right, guys, so we have a special video here today. Number one, welcome to the new and improved, um, currently renovating Peace Love and Plastic Studios. Again, we're under renovation, but today we're going to be looking at the Paris Hilton doll by Rainbow High. So I don't know if you guys know, but Rainbow High did a collaboration with Rainbow High and Paris Hilton. So technically it was Pacific Coast, but Pacific Coast and Rainbow High are basically the same thing, I think anyways. This listing popped up on Walmart here, I think it was yesterday or was it Thursday? I don't remember. Anyways, it was yesterday or Thursday. Um, it was a completely blank listing. We didn't know what it was, but this doll did cost, of course, $99. And um, yeah, it's a premium doll. It popped up without any pictures. We haven't really seen any stock photos, any uh, leaks of this doll. I mean, her outfit did leak a couple of months ago, but yeah, I feel like it's been a really long time since this doll was announced. And yeah, the listing popped up on Walmart. I snagged her up and she arrived today. So I believe at the time of filming this video, the listing is still live, so you can go and pick her up. I will try to link it down below just to make sure that you guys can get one for yourself. But without further ado, we're gonna go over the box a little bit. The front of the box has this big picture of Paris Hilton. Of course, this is her in her first outfit. It also has this little tag on it that just says Rainbow High. These aren't numbered or anything, which I did see a couple people asking. Of course, she also has this little faux plastic plate on the very front. I believe this is similar boxing to what Lily Chang had. I don't think it's the exact same packaging, but I can grab her so we can do a comparison. On the side, it says premium edition in a foiled, uh, kind of foiled print here, foiled applique, I don't know what to call it. And then it has those little um, corners that we've been seeing on all the premium edition dolls here recently, like costume ball and things like that. On the back, she has this big picture of Paris Hilton. Um, of course, it has her phone. It looks like it's supposed to be an iPhone, but it has four cameras, so, you know, she has one of those fancy iPhones. And then she has this big ring right here, too. I'm, I'm interested to see if she has that molded on her hand or not. Interestingly enough, it only just says Paris Hilton down here at the very bottom. You don't really get too much, um, like, design to the box. I do think the design is pretty simple, to be honest. And on the top, there's a little window where you can see the doll, but really, that's about it. Not a lot of words on the packaging. All right, so the doll does open up here with a um, little bit of Velcro right here. You can pause and read this insert here if you would like. I'm not gonna read it because I'm still recovering from a cold, so. On the inside, it has a bunch of um, printed on glitter, and yeah, it's really, really sparkly and really, really grand on the inside. On the inside of her box here, she has another kind of uh, full body picture of herself. And the box is completely foiled, by the way, if you can't tell. So everything has like a little bit of a holographic shift. And then right here, of course, you can see her signature and it says Paris Hilton XOXO. And just looking at the front of the box here, she does have some stars. I think this is pretty standard for a rainbow high packaging, but she does have some stars that are kind of raining down on the inside. And again, at the bottom here is her signature. So again, it says Paris Hilton XOXO and kind of a foiled print here. Now that I've done all, the, all this talking, we're gonna go ahead and get the doll out of the box. Right, so we've gotten Paris all out of the box. Let's take a look at what she comes with. 
She comes with this rainbow high stand. Of course, it's your typical stand. It's pink with a little bit of embedded and glitter in there. Not gonna show too much of this because nobody cares about the stand, but it is just a regular rainbow high stand. It isn't like anything special or anything <laughs> different. Uh, I would think if they're gonna call this a premium doll though, and this is just me being picky, that they would give us like a different stand, like a special stand for her, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. But of course, she also comes with the telescoping portion of the stand. And I wanna say this is this stand may be the same color as Bella's stand, but yes, the telescoping portion. She has her waist clip here, nothing too awesome to see about that. And she comes with the standard rainbow high comb all pink with embedded glitter. One thing that she comes with that I think is super cute is she comes with in, I don't know, a rainbow high phone? We're not gonna call it an iPhone, but it looks like an iPhone. And it has a graphic on the front of her basically taking a picture of herself. I think this is, is so cute. And it looks like it's just open up to the camera app. And I believe, but yeah, so the coolest part about this is that it's actually a separate piece. So it comes out of this little case. On the back, of course, you can see the four iPhone cameras or Rainbow High phone cameras. The item even still ha even has like the molded buttons on the side. So it has like the up and down volume, the lock button. On this side is nothing, but yeah, it's super detailed. It even, even has the charging port. Then she also comes with a case, which is the separate piece. It is a pink case with a kind of like a Diamante P on there, obviously standing for Paris. And it has a bunch of silver embedded glitter in there. It does also have a thumb hole on the side so that she can actually hold her phone, which I think is a very nice touch. And again, the phone just pops right back in there. She also came in the box with what looks like a, a extra pair of earrings. Let me take them out of the, this bag here for you. I didn't want to lose them. So yeah, she comes with a second pair of earrings. They are a kind of dangling diamond earring. It has molded on little brass to hold the jewel in. And yeah, these are really, really cute. They're kind of like a translucent color. They don't really have a shift to them. But yeah, they're just some simple kind of like diamond stud earrings that hang down. I do think it's pretty cool that they did decide to include a second pair of earrings for her. Um, I guess that does make her a little bit more premium. All right, and then we'll take a look at her cat, I believe this is. So, or is this a dog? Oh, see, I guess if I was a real Paris Hilton fan, I would know this. <laughs> this is either her cat or dog. Please correct me in the comments uh, about what it is. But it is this flocked white animal. Uh, the great thing about this is that it is articulated. So it can move its head, it can move its arms, its legs. Let's see if the tail is articulated. Even the tail on this is articulated. But yes, it's this white flocked material. It's really, really soft. It has cute little eyes right there. Of course, it has uh, its nose and a mouth. And yeah, it's just a really cute piece. I'm glad that they included this with her. I love when dolls come with like little accessories that are really good for photographing because I like to photograph all my dolls. But that is the little white dog or cat that she comes with. Paris also comes with this purse. So it is the kind of like standard rainbow high trunk purse. It is pink. It doesn't have any glitter or anything embedded on it, but it does have a RH as a little clasp in the front. Of course, it has those little edges on there that all the rainbow high trunks come with. And it does open. So you can fit her cell phone in there, maybe her extra pair of earrings. Um, what else you would put in there, I don't know. On the top, of course, it does have a handle. And of course, it comes with a little rubber band that so she can hold it. And then a, a nice little addition to the purse is this pink RH uh, tag that comes on it that has a little bit of a buckle and a couple of brads to secure it in. And let's see if it comes off. It does come off, like you can pull this off. So. I'm not gonna do that though, cause I want it to stay on there pretty nicely, but this is the purse that she comes with. I think that it's super detailed. I love the, the molding of it. And yeah, I think that they gave her something cute, but also kept it rainbow high, which is, yeah, on brand for them. 
So next we'll take a look at Paris's dress. It is this pink tuxedo jacket dress. It has a couple of cutouts on the shoulders here and also cutouts around the waist. It is embroidered here on the front and let's see if it has any other embroidery on it. No, so it does have some embroidered pieces right here on the front. So the dress has details that are kind of a mix of those pearls that Minnie Chue has and then also um, the kind of like the, the jewels that Roxy had on her outfit as well. The outfit feels really, really heavy and really, really um, good quality. It's not lined on the inside, but again, it does feel like a really, a really uh, hefty piece. And I like the placement of the jewels and the pearls. I think that it all makes sense. It does have a really big cutout in the back as well, which is pretty risque for uh, Rainbow High. But in my in my opinion i believe that this doll they knew that this doll would be geared more towards collectors that's why i think they went with the 99 dollars price point and they went with this kind of more risque uh outfit with the big back cut out the shoulders cut out the sides cut out but it does velcro in the back i wish for 99 dollars they had given us snaps it does have a little bit of a netting here i don't know if that's maybe to keep it from staining the doll or what it also has this built-in uh bralette in here just to give her a little bit of modesty but i don't know maybe if you're feeling kind of risky you could cut this out and give her like a deep v I don't know. I'm not going to do that because she costs $99. She's way too expensive for that. <laughs> but hey, it's an idea. It's an idea. But I feel like this piece is very, very intricate. Of course, it has the sewn in underwear. But yeah, it's just a really thick, really nice piece. And I'm interested to see what it's going to look like on her. Next, we'll take a look at Paris's boots. So they are these thigh-high leather boots. They are in of a pink color, of course. And it just continues the print and design of her dress. So it has some jewels and some pearls that are kind of mixed in this kind of round, swirly design. It also, of course, has a platform, a silver platform boot here as well. These boots really remind me of the boots that Mila came with. They are constructed the exact same way, just in a pink uh, version. I hope that these pearls are glued on very well because I remember when I put the boots on Mila, some of those pearls kind of popped off. So we'll see if that happens, but hopefully for a $99 collector doll, that won't happen and that they're glued on pretty well. But again, I think that it's a really cute design overall. It also does have a little bit of embroidery on the back here as well, just to kind of continue that embroidery from the dress. All right, and now that we've taken a look at her second outfit and her accessories, let's take a look at the outfit that she comes with inside of the box. So Paris comes with these big hoop earrings. They have some mini circular jewels kind of lining the outside of the earring. Yes, I think these are really, really cute and Rainbow High has not done this before. So I like that they included a real kind of jewel in the earring. I think that it does kind of make that price point a little bit more justified because of course they had to mold these just for Paris. So yeah, I think they're really cute. Paris also comes with this molded bejeweled choker. It's kind of the same material as the earrings. It has those embedded jewels in there. I think this is really, really cute. I almost want a second doll to reuse some of these pieces, but maybe once she goes on sale, because <laughs> I'm not spending another, I'm not spending $200 on two dolls. It's just this silver kind of cuff style choker. I think it's really, really pretty. And I go, think it goes really well with her outfit. And it, it just gives that rich girl billionaire vibes. And Paris comes with a total of three bangles. She has this chain style bracelet with a dangling P. This is just a different version of the bracelet that Roxy came with, but hey, it is a different mold because hers had an R on it. She also has this bracelet that I, again, I'm also sure came with Roxy Grand. <laughs> it is this linked together jewel uh, bracelet. And another bracelet that I feel like we've already seen with Roxy is this another kind of smaller linked together jewel bracelet. So those are the three bracelets that Paris comes with. All right, and Paris also includes some gloves. So she has these fishnet gloves with some applied jewels to them. It is, goes all the way around. 
Uh, again, I'm kind of concerned that these jewels may fall off, so be very careful when you're changing these out. Again, hopefully MGA for the price point did give us, you know, some good um, strong glue for these jewels, but just in case they didn't, um, yeah, be careful of that. They are a little bit lighter of a pink than any of the other items that she has, but I think that's nice to give her a little bit of dimension. But while we're looking at her gloves, let's also look at her hand mold. So she does have some manicured nails. They're kind of pointy and sharp like the shadow high nails, but they do have a little bit of a French tip on there. And of course she has this big um, diamond ring on, which I think is really, really cute. This is probably her engagement ring, right? Somebody tell me down below. I love this hand mold. I think it's really, really cute. And of course it is painted all the way on the other side. Uh, yeah, this looks really, really cute. And her other hand is just a simple, hand mold. There's no rings or anything molded onto it. Of course, she comes with the pink fishnet glove on this hand as well. All right, and then we'll also take a look at Paris's first outfit shoes. So they are these strappy heels. They have this clear platform on them. The strap on the bottom here is kind of transparent as well. They have a little bow right there on there on them, and they also have a bow on the back. I think these shoes are actually pretty simple. I think that these are, they're definitely a different pink from everything else as well. Maybe again, they did that to give her a little bit of dimension. I guess this pink does match her gloves a little bit better, but I do think it's kind of a uh, muted pink and it's kind of weird to me. I don't know why they did that. Overall, they're, they're still cute with the outfit and yeah, they're, they seem very trendy. And next we'll take a look at Paris's tiara. She has this silver tiara that has an embedded jewel here and it's kind of like a uh, iridescent jewel. I love the molding of this. It does look like it's kind of plated in some spots, so that's really nice. Well, actually it is plated, so <laughs> I don't know why I thought it wasn't. But you can also see some what could be little smaller jewels kind of lining the top of it. And it has this mini jewel at the very top. It's rubber banded to her head, so it doesn't go in with a peg or anything, which is nice. I hate when they put the pegs in the head just because it makes that big hole and water gets inside it when you resaw the doll and nobody likes that. Yeah, I really like the molding of this. Of course, this is very on theme for Paris to wear a little tiara, so I'm glad they included it. All right, and the last piece of clothing that we'll take a look at that she comes with is this pink little mini dress. So it is a bunch of little metal circles that are combined together to make this dress. Um, of course, it is lined on the inside. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but she does come with Rainbow High by Paris Hilton 2022 tags and all of her clothing. I guess that's a way to make her feel a little bit more premium. But of course, we saw this with Jet Dawson and I think some, I think another doll. Um, Lily, Lily Chang actually is the other person that had this tag in here. The dress is lined, fully lined with a pink lining because of course if they didn't do that it would be see-through and I'm sure parents would be mad. The dress has this ribbon strap with this medallion connected to it. It looks like the little faux rainbow high Medusa head. So maybe this dress is like inspired by a Versace dress. But yes, it has two of those on there. They are plated as well, which is really, really nice. Again, that gives it more of a premium look when you do things like that. Again, I do wish the dress connected with maybe some snaps or something because Velcro feels kind of cheap for a $100 doll. But yes, it's just a really, really cute mini dress. It moves really, really well, and it feels like a really, really good quality piece. All right, so let's now let's take a look at Paris's face. So she does have a brand new face mold. Of course, on the back it says 2022 MGA. Pretty sure you guys could have, could have guessed that. But let's take a look at her makeup here. So she has some very soft kind of light brown eyebrows. I think this is a new shape because they're very like pointed and very kind of straight almost. Of course she has little white hairs at the, at the front of the eye as well. For her eyeshadow, she has kind of like a, a light brown smoky eye. You can see she has kind of more of a defined outer lid. For her crease, it's kind of like a pink glittery uh, shadow here. And of course she has a black winged eyeliner. 
on her bottom eye. She has a little bit of brown that's kind of smoked out, and then she has some pink under there as well. And of course she has some, about five uh, black little eyelashes there. Her lip is kind of like a orange, pinky, it's kind of like a pink orange color. That's kind of hard to describe it. And of course she has um, some black apply lashes. This again, like I said, is a brand new face mold. You can tell because the bridge of her nose is definitely a lot more defined and the her nose itself is a lot smaller. And her jawline is kind of square as well. So those were the biggest differences that I can see. And then let's take a look at Paris's articulation. So of course she can move at the head. She has, she can bend at the elbow. She can also bend at the wrist. She can bend at the thigh, of course. She can bend at the knee. And she can also twist at the ankle. <laughs> like I said in my last video, I'm not sure why they include this because it literally just swivels. It, it, it does nothing for the articulation, but it is what it is. She does not have a chest joint, which I know a lot of people were wondering about. Um, yeah, I guess they have just done away with the chest joint because none of the collector or premium dolls have come with it. So I'm just gonna say that MGA has gotten rid of it. Of course, we'll take a look at her hair. So she has this long blonde high ponytail. Her hair is super long. It reaches, it, it actually reaches her feet. So super long hair. I can already tell that she does not have any rooted part. You can kind of look and see that the hair isn't thick enough anywhere for it to be a rooted part. So that's kind of annoying because I was hoping that they would give us that, but they didn't. And of course, she does have a little bit of hair that is wrapped around in the exact same manner that Roxy Grand's hair was. I will definitely be redoing this because it looks terrible. <laughs> it's, yeah, it doesn't look very good at all to me. Um, her hair is very lightly gelled at the ends. So um, if anybody's wondering about that, yeah, it's not super duper crunchy, but there are some spots that are gelled here at the, at the end. But of course the hair is nice and soft. And yeah, I'll be doing a separate video for her hair, which will be coming later this week. So yes, stay tuned for that. But that is actually all that she comes with. So what I'm gonna do is get her back in her outfit so we can take a look at everything. And that will be all, guys. All right, guys, and now it's time for my final thoughts about the doll. So I think that Rainbow High did what they, they're known for doing, which is giving very highly detailed, very high quality dolls in the respect from a design standpoint. However, do I think that the doll is worth the price? I'm just going to go ahead and say no. <laughs> if you look at some of the previous clips when I was, you know, showing you some of the items, I didn't even realize one of her boots, like, straight out of the box was missing, like, 90% of the pearls on it. So, yes, it's definitely some quality control issues that MGA is known for, and I would hope that they would pay more attention to those types of things when it comes to a premium doll that is $100. One thing I didn't mention when I did go over the overview of her items is that she is the same height as all of the other Rainbow High dolls. A couple of people have been asking me that on my Instagram, but I would love to know what you guys think of this doll in the comments down below. Of course, if you enjoyed today's review, give it a thumbs up. And yes, like I said, next week I will be doing the full restyle on her hair, so definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, if you feel so inclined, subscribe. So I will see you guys later this week for another video. So